Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and a color grading tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily use this hidden photographic toning tool in Photoshop to color grade your images and get that nice and beautiful golden skin tone to your images. So if at all you find the video helpful, make it a point that you hit the like button. And if at all you haven't hit the like button now, I think you're making a mistake. Make sure that you hit the like button on this video. So that YouTube can push and recommend this nice and beautiful video to many people out there. So you can see we are going to be moving the image from looking like this to looking like this. That's the before and after. So I'm just going to come and delete this. So if I told you are having a newer version of Photoshop, you may notice that your photographic toning adjustment layer or tool is missing from your Photoshop. It is not missing, but Photoshop, as Photoshop was making adjustments or improvements it really had to hide that photographic toning tool in your photoshop it is still existing and if i told you have an older version of photoshop you may find it right there so let me show you what i'm trying to mean so in order to access this photographic toning filter or adjustment layer you just going to come right here to window and make sure you come and select gradients so just come to window and make sure you come and select gradients so when you do this your gradients are going to start displaying and you're going to be having these color swatches but initially your gradient map or photo filter may be missing so first of all you have to uncover or bring it back into these color swatches and in order to do that we're just going to come right here and click on these two or these lines right here just left click on them and you come and select legacy gradients right here so when you come and select legacy gradients you can notice that we have legacy gradient right here created for us and when you open it you can find your photographic toning and these nice and beautiful filters or effects that you can apply to the image so let me show you how you can easily apply those so after you have loaded the gradients in our gradient map filter or gradient maps it is time to load them into the skin tone and we color grade this very image and in order to do that we're just going to come right here to the adjustments and you're going to come to our gradient map right here so just come and select gradient map so when you select gradient map just come and simply single click on any color that appears within your gradient map right here and as soon as you single click it is going to bring out the presets or filters that you can apply to the image. So scroll all the way down to where you can see legacy gradient and simply drop down and you look for photographic toning and click on the drop down and you can see that we have a couple or a number of filters that we can apply to this very image. And for this case, I prefer to use the Sapia Attic preset to color grade and get that nice and golden skin tone to the images I color grade within Photoshop. So I'm just going to come right here. I'm just going to click right there. And you can see it is going to make the image a little bit brown or a golden. And it doesn't look nice at all. So don't mind about that. Just come and press OK. So right now, the effect has been applied to the overall image. And you can see that we have lost out the original colors that were within the image. So we have to select a blend mode that is going to reveal or apply it in the skin tone areas. And that blend mode is going to be known as soft light. So just come to this blend mode right here. Click on it and just come and scroll down to soft light right here. So just look at the image. It has now been color graded and that's the before and after. But we have one drawback or setback for this very issue. So you can see it has also color graded the shadow areas and we just don't want to color grade the darkest areas in this photo. So in order to do that or in order to take away the color grading from the darkest parts of the image, what we are going to do, we are just going to come to the gradient map right here. So come and make sure this gradient map is selected and this layer has been selected and simply double click on this option and it's going to bring up this layer style dialog box so right now you can see 
we have the underlying layer so just want to take the effect out of the shadows in the underlying layer right here so in order to do that we're just going to left click on these two boxes within the darkest area in the underlying layer option and make sure the blend if is set to gray so after that just come and click and drag it out of the shadows so just start dragging it out of the shadow areas until when you feel like the effect has been removed or completely gotten rid out of the shadow areas but it is going to create that unusual artifact in the shadow areas from which we are trying to eliminate uh, the color grading or the preset of the gradient map so in order to refine this or make this a smoother transition in the shadow areas simply hold down option or so hold down option if at all you're using mac and if at all you're using windows or pc you can hold down the alternate key on the keyboard so if at all you're using mac hold down the option key and if at all you're using windows hold down the alternate key or alt on the keyboard and click on one triangle and just split it just like that so you can now split this and refine your image and make it look better so just split this until when you feel like uh, the effect is a little bit better up to your test so after doing that you're just going to come right here and you're going to simply press ok and you can see this is the before and this is the after before after just look at how nice the skin has now turned out to be so if at all you feel like you're comfortable with such a look you can stop right here but when you feel like the effect is a little bit too much for your liking just come to the opacity and simply drop down or reduce on the opacity up to when you feel like uh, it is the one that you want to apply to your image and that is it so right now we just want to apply the color grading on only the skin of the model so in order to do that you're just going to come and make sure you select the white layer mask right here and you're going to invert the effect by pressing ctrl or command i on the keyboard and that is going to invert or hide the color grading from the overall image so just come and get the brush tool make sure the hardness is at zero meaning it is a soft round brush tool opacity and flow at 100 percent so just come and make sure you have black and white right here and in order to reset to have black and white colors make sure you use or click on these two small boxes and you can switch between black and white by using x on the keyboard or you can use these arrow keys and you'll have white on top meaning the white brush is going to be revealing what was hidden behind this black mask and when you're done doing or setting up all that just come with your brush tool and start painting onto the skin area that you want or the areas in the skin that you want are uh, to color grade so just come and paint through those areas and you can see it is going to be applying the color grading on only the skin remember we didn't want to color grade other areas like the hair and other areas that we apply the color grading onto so after doing this you can come and finish up by subscribing and liking this video so this is all for this tutorial and if at all you loved and enjoyed this make sure you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there ronix from Monis photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating